If you're trying to win the SEO game, you're probably doing all the same things that the other millions of people are trying to do to rank first in Google. Don't do that, do this instead. Hey everyone, I'm John Timmerman. I talk about the world's most exciting business sales and marketing strategies so that both you and I can grow our businesses together. I'm always looking for things like growth hacking and tactics, but at the same time, looking at the pillars of what makes marketing and sales and overall business growth successful. And that's exactly what we do on the show, so make sure you hit that subscribe button if that's what you're all about. Now, today we're talking about SEO. SEO has been around for, let's call it roughly two decades. And when the internet became a place to sell things, everybody wanted to rank first in Google for everything from lawyer law firm in New York City to uh, best cleaning products of 2022. All right, we're all trying to rank higher in the most powerful search engine in the planet, which is Google. And in order to do that, we're all doing the same things. We're all writing content, and now we're using AI copywriters to write 80% of it, and then having a copy editor write the remaining 20%. We're putting keywords in there that are relevant. We're getting backlinks from places that we hope are high quality in order to show Google that we are the best piece of content for a particular search term. But how do you compete when we're all doing the same thing? Well, there's one very simple answer that is kinda hard to do, and that is to create content that people find incredibly valuable and useful, okay? It's not about just using keywords and making sure that they're in a blog post and that there's links to that blog post because at the end of the day, if nobody finds that content valuable, then they're not going to wanna to visit it, they're not gonna stay on it, they're not gonna read the whole thing, and more importantly, they're not gonna share it. They're not gonna pay it forward and put it out into the world. So the best way you can achieve good SEO results is to create a piece of content that is shareable, that is useful, that people want to engage in. And there's one sub way to do that. So now, right now you're listening to this video and you're like, oh great, obviously, create valuable content. But there's a very specific thing that you can do in order to do this. And that is to create free resources. The resources could be anything. It could be a template that somebody could use to write better email copy. It could be a template or a spreadsheet that somebody can use to better calculate their mortgage rates. It could be a number of different things, all right? It could be the top 10 music tracks for running. I don't know, something like that, right? Create something that somebody wants to use and even more, create something that they want to then share because that's the best way to get something exposure and it's the best way for you to have a chance of getting people and, thing, and, and blogs and, and places to link back to your content, which is ultimately what Google wants to see. It's one of the stronger signals is when many, 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 many people link to a piece of content. That shows Google that ah, people care. People care about this. And their algorithm searches a bunch of other things to make sure it's not just you know, fake links and, and, and things like that, right? Black hat tactics. So if you create something that people find extremely valuable and you put that on your website where that's the home that people go back to, then you're gonna have the best chance of climbing the ranks in Google. So here's some, some examples that I've seen. One of the coolest examples is software. If you can create free software that people can go and use on your website, that's an incredible place because you're gonna get businesses, blogs, YouTube channels, social media channels, people just work in their everyday lives, always referencing this piece of software. So a lot of times, this is not a strategy a lot of people use or a lot of businesses use because it could be expensive to either build or buy a software platform or program and then everybody wants to be paid. So why would you offer it for free if you can sell it? I get it. But if you can have a piece of software that's helpful to your audience, then and they're gonna come in and use it, if you can offer it for free, you're going to get a bunch of traffic. Now, if that's the only thing you're selling is the piece of software, obviously you have to charge for it. But if the software is a means of marketing, and you could even use the freemium model where there's something that people can come and use for free and then if they wanna upgrade, that's a widely used tactic, mostly for software companies. But I think this tactic is highly underutilized for non-software companies, is building a very kind of easy to use, it could be a calculator, it could be a, a, some sort of generator, you know, generating pieces of content or something like that. Um, it could be an, a, a data house or, or, or place that you can store data. It could be something that does planning for you. 
right? It could be it could be a lot of different things, but something that's useful for your audience. That resource, that free thing, is you can embed in your site, you can embed in all your blog posts, and best best yet is people can copy the link to that piece of software and they can use it in their blog posts. They can use it in their tutorials. They can use it in their YouTube videos. That's where you, then you can get a lot of people linking back. This is something that not a lot of companies are really doing. Then you don't have to go as crazy as software. You can do a simple Excel sheet or a simple Google sheet where it's a calculator where you can use to calculate ROI. You can use to calculate mortgage rates, as I mentioned, or cross-reference different mortgage rates and different monthly payments, things like that. This downloadable resource or, or resource is something that many people can use. You put your logo in it, you make sure it's locked and people have to make a copy versus, uh, versus just changing it right there. You put the link in your blog post, in your social media content, you reach out to other bloggers and see if they wanna use it. This free resource is highly valuable and something people wanna link back to. So, if you're in SEO, yes, write good content, yes, have people link back to that content. You can do all the normal things, but just know you're doing the same things that everybody else is doing and the chances are, the chances that your content is drastically better than theirs is slim to none. And if you're just starting out, the chances that you're going to get people to care about your blog post versus the biggest player in your industry is slim to none. But if you can create a free resource, an ebook, a checklist, a simple video, a tutorial, a free piece of software. If you can create all of these things, house it on your website, then people are required to give you credit. And you can always have somebody scanning the internet for people using your resource and not giving you credit, right? So that is something that's highly linkable. It's something that's highly shareable. It's something that's highly valuable. And when, at the end of the day, that's what Google cares about is something that other people care about. That's how you're gonna get ranked first in Google. If you found this video helpful, remember to subscribe. It's what keeps me going. And I'm really trying to uh, grow this YouTube channel. So uh, leave a comment. Let me know how I can make these videos any better. And just remember the free resource tactic. I'm actually using it on my website. So head over to jtimmerman.com if you want an example of creating very simple free resources. Over there I have sales script templates. I have uh, ROI calculators. I have e-commerce checklist when you're launching your first e-commerce business or you're trying to grow it. A bunch of free resources over there. They're relatively easy to create because it's probably all the stuff you're doing in your business already. Whatever your industry is, there's a lot of free stuff that you can give out. It's the same stuff that your sales team is talking to your clients about. It's the same stuff that your marketing team is already engaging your audience with. So create re free resources and head over to my website, jtimmerman.com if you want examples of those. And we'll see you in the next video. Take care.